made the incredible last two minutes. Uh, mm. Kidderminster score a goal almost basketball style. Can you explain what happened? Um, well, I've never seen nothing like it. I, I've not been involved in anything like that before. It was um, obviously the lead put it in with both hands. Um, I think, well, at least one end. But um, and I just honestly thought um, that it was it. You know, I thought everyone saw it. Everyone saw it in the, in the stadium, and, and except for the linesman and, and the referee. Um, I think because of all the fuss what went after it. Um, the referee made the right decision, obviously, and, and they, they they knew as well on the bench. Um, but um, lucky enough, um, lucky enough, he made the right decision in the end because I think he would have got lynched. Yeah, um, it was incredible. It was like you know, emotional firework went off. Really. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was um, it was unbelievable. It just um, it, it would have been a shame if it did if it did um, if he did give it because um, I thought the boys were fantastic. I thought um, especially first half. Um, they showed the commitment and, and everything that I, was, that I wanted at Barnet, especially, especially first half, and they responded really well. And I thought the football and, uh, and everything else was um, very, very good. Um, against a very good Kidderminster side, um, and obviously we started slow second half, which is, but um, but give credit to Kidderminster as well. Um, obviously they're not they're not a bad team themselves. So I thought um, I thought all in all I thought a one-one score was a, a fair result, and and we feel I thought and you know again our fans are absolutely fantastic and. I think I'm sure that everyone in the stadium um, saw an entertaining game went home very happy. Yeah, going back to the start again, um, so much sort of vim and vigour for the first quarter of an hour and a, a great team goal. Yeah, it was. It was a fantastic team goal, and um, you know, and but um, that's what we can do. We can do that, but um, is at consistency level. Um, but I'm just really pleased we bounced back after obviously, you know, the debacle of Southport and obviously the shocking decision by at Woking, and it did knock us. And we weren't very good at Barnet, and I put my hands up and I did say, you know, it's obviously. Um, what response and um, but I was very happy tonight and it was um, and, and they deserve all the credit the boys every single one of them um, and they just showed you what they can do and it's it does not enough get frustrating for me um, especially the first half performance and, and everybody wants to see it for 90 minutes but that's something that um, I've got to I've got to uh, mend and, and hopefully we'll do that in the future. Sam Russell didn't have too much to do in the first half but no. certainly showed his quality second half. Yeah what well, he does as, as Sam all over his concentration levels are very good. Um, you know his handling is absolutely fantastic, and and, and you got him. At, and I'm not joking. In the goalmouth area, that is very, very soft, and um, and you know obviously you know Stewart's done a fantastic job. I thought the pitch played really well again tonight, um, but um, in in that, it's very very soft in the goalmouth areas, and obviously it bounced awkwardly. And but his handling is fantastic, and no, he he made some really good saves second half as well. So, but um, but like I say, I don't want to. Pinpoint everyone, uh, you know, just saying, but it was everybody, you know, it was a really good proper team squad performance tonight. Uh, you kept Lee Hughes on the bench tonight, reasons for that? Yeah, just keeping him, um, you know, I didn't want to flog him. Um, he's been absolutely fantastic for me, and um, and I thought he looked tired at Barnet, um, and it was just a case of just freshen up again, you know, and he's such a great pro. Um, he knows he knows the score, you know, I speak to him obviously all the time, and like all the players speak to him individually, um, and he felt a little bit stiff as well, so. But he's um, no, he was, that was a, that was the reason why I made the decision, and and I thought the two boys up front were very, 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 very good tonight. And Lee, of course, tonight did well at the other end by heading one off at the off the line. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, with Lee Hughes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know it was Lee because I couldn't see through the for the melee. But um, no, um, he's he's, um, he's obviously everyone knows what he's like. He's, he's, his character and, and he's, he's you know he's always smiling and but um, the biggest thing obviously he score goals and he's very good on the on the pitch but I like to say the two boys up top um, caused him a lot of problems tonight. Dartford on Saturday no problem raising the boys for that. Um, well, well it's, you know that, again um, you know so it's an away game and that's that's been the problem um, and it's not hide behind the fact that the way pro the way results have not been good um, so. Um, like I say, we've got we've got to turn a corner on away form because we we are strong at home, um, but um, that's something that we've got to address and, it, and it's got to start on Saturday because, like I say, the Barnet game won't acceptable. But um, I hope that they get a lot of confidence and they've had a lot of praise from myself um, tonight and from everybody here. So um, we've got to look forward to it because it's going to be a tough game because Tony's done a fantastic job um, at Dartford and they've really turned the corner. Um, and they've got a great chance to stay in the league. A couple of games to go now, it's not a case of winding down for you then? No, you're joking, no way. Um, I, no, I want to win every game. I, I, I can't stand people saying that, um, you know, obviously we've got to take a foot off the gas. And it doesn't matter if, um, you know, if, if we're you know, fighting for relegation, going for promotion, going for the championship, it doesn't matter. Every single game we've got to win. 
because I wouldn't be doing my job properly, um, and I don't care what game it is. It's a friendly, if it's a, a, a you know, game of tiddlywinks, game of snooker. It doesn't matter. I want to win every single thing I do. So, um, that's why I am, and hopefully that will, uh, you know, obviously it's rubbed on the players um, since I've been here. Smashing, thanks, Eddie.